All right, hey, good morning, buenos dias, everybody. It's uh, me and Professor uh, uh, just getting ready for the heat that's about to set in uh, over these next uh, next uh, couple of days. Um, and uh, uh, right now, as I'm making this video, probably wonder. Usually, I'm, I'm sitting down, I'm recording this video, but you notice uh, that I'm, I'm standing up. It looks like I'm ready to to go somewhere. Well, I'm actually just uh, got a few minutes to uh, to uh, spare before I head out to uh, to National City. And since I'm uh, sitting uh, on my uh, on my on my on my butt for uh, for for uh, for over an hour uh, each way, I definitely. Uh, want to stretch before I get out on the uh, get out on the 15th. Uh, but in this video, I want to go ahead and tell you a little bit more about the uh, uh, third and final installment of the uh, Big Three Discussions, and that of course is the uh, 1980s music video component. And, uh, uh, and and for this particular one, the reason I chose it, well obviously there's definitely, you might say, a personal reason on, on, on my part. Uh, I'm a product of the 1980s, I definitely grew up during that time period, so uh, Ronald Reagan, uh, Gorbachev, the uh, Space Shuttle Challenger, and of course MTV. I mean, I lived, I, I lived through all, all of that. Had a chance to uh, to get together recently with some of my uh, uh, my high school friends. Some of them actually live out here in uh, in the Temecula, Marietta, uh, Wildemar uh, area, and uh, and we had. A, and one of our friends from uh, from uh, uh, who lives on Florida came out. So of course we chatted quite a bit about some of the uh, uh, songs, some of the stuff that was popular back then. Whether it was uh, the rock and roll stuff like a Def Leppard or. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Or the Scorpions, or of course the New Wave stuff, which was really really popular back back in those days. The Pesh Mode, uh, Duran Duran, uh, Thompson Twins, the list goes on and on. Um, but because uh, I think music music videos were, to, were such a seminal part of the 1980s, uh, it was easy back in those days for people to be dismissive. Uh, oh, that's uh, uh, evil devil music. Why are the kids watching this uh, crap? That's uh, nonsense. Uh, uh, back, uh, back, uh, back, back in my day, you know, we had Perry Como, we had the Ink Spots, we had a uh, Glenn Miller, blah 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 blah. Uh, 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 ironically, it's it's as if in, in the uh, in these modern times, uh, uh, me and my generation, we speak fondly about uh, the, the Def Leppard. The top Thompson twins, the Depeche Mode, the, the, the Cure, and we complain about uh, the, some of the stuff that's out there right now, like uh, Katy Perry, uh, Beyonce, uh, Chris Brown. If he's not getting into not getting in, in, into any trouble, but you, you you get the idea. It's definitely a uh, generational thing, and I'm sure 20, 30 years down the, uh, down the road, when uh, uh, when, when your children or, or even grandchildren start talking about uh, their, their music, you'll be saying, well, uh, Katy Perry was, uh, was great. She had talent and uh, 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 Pharrell. And, uh, uh, so uh, that's definitely something that you'll, you guys will be facing as you get, uh, as you get into, the, into your, more to your 30s and especially more your 40s and 50s and even to, into your 60s. But enough about going down the memory lane here. Let me tell you a little bit more about what you need to do for the music uh, video discuss discussion part. Like, uh, like I was suggesting, I think the uh, music videos in the 1980s really give a, a really good insight in terms of the uh, mentality of the 1980s, in terms of uh, politics, society, culture. Many uh, there, there are many videos which are quite hard-hitting, looking, looking at... Uh, Looking at international politics, and uh, among them, uh, things like uh, stings, Russians uh, come come to mind. And there are a lot of videos that focus on, on more uh, personal, social issues, uh, uh, especially things like female empowerment. That that is, uh, women overcoming obstacles, and basically showing to the guys, uh, hey, you know, we we can do do this too. We don't need you, uh, men, uh, in, in our lives. So. Uh, I would say videos like Donna Summers, she worked hard for the money. Uh, Tina Turner's "What's Love Got to Do with It?" and uh, Pat Benatar's "Love Is a Battlefield" definitely come to mind. And those are some of the videos that that, that you can use. So what you need to do is, uh, uh, over the if you could if you could for for uh, for this week because your comments on the, your videos are due on next Friday. So Friday, May twenty third is when I want uh, your comments on these on these uh, on these videos. Go into the external links and video section and choose one of the videos that I that I have listed there. I've got several to choose from. I've got everything ranging from. Uh, I think there's a, there's Duran Duran. I mentioned Pat Benatar. Uh, there's some Iron Maiden. There's a Motley Crue. Uh, so for those of you who are into more of the uh, uh, the heavy metal, there's even a, a, an Ozzy Osbourne clip in which Ozzy pokes fun at a, at, at those uh, televangelists who that were really popular in the 1980s. Uh, so uh, just just go to the list and again make sure you choose something from that list. Please don't uh, go off the reservation, so to speak, and choose a video that uh, that maybe that maybe you want to do, but that's not listed. It's got to be a video that that's that's listed uh, in the external links and video section. 
And then uh, once you choose your video, please let me know as soon as possible because one of the things that um, uh, that I have is I have limits in terms of how many people can choose uh, can choose a video. So so for instance, let's say some of you really want to want to focus in on Motley Crue's Doctor Feelgood. Uh, that video looks at some of the things such as drug violence, a gang violence, especially in Los Angeles in the in the 1980s. Of course, a uh, crack. Uh, was an epidemic back 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 in those days in uh, in, uh, in a lot of the inner cities. Of course, L.A. being being no exception. And Dr. Feelgood, in essence, looks at the uh, uh, the rise and fall of, of uh, the rise and fall of, of a drug dealer. Uh, <clears throat> In uh, in the barrios, in the uh, in the uh, in, in the streets of, of Los Angeles. So if you want to if you want to focus in on Doctor Feelgood, then of course not just say a few things about the about the music about, about the band, but comment about the times. That is, what is the video uh, looking at in terms of the uh, in terms of society, politics, culture, and in this case, the uh, drug drug trafficking, drug wars, gang violence. So if you want to include incorporations of uh, some of the uh, some of the instances of uh, drug violence, some uh, uh, some of the stories that that happened in the 1980s, especially in late. 80s on Los Angeles, then definitely include that in your discussion. What I don't want you to do is please don't uh, list the lyrics for verbatim in your discussion. In fact, that was a little bit of a problem when I first started doing this uh, discussion about four or five years ago. So please don't don't do that. But if you want to uh, just include various lines as part of your commentary, absolutely go go ahead and do that. So if you want to put in a couple lines here toward the beginning of your commentary, a couple toward the end, that that's fine. So just use the lines in context. As part of your wider discussion, much like you're doing if you're writing the book review or the uh, PBS re re review, so uh, passages from uh, from books or articles to back up your uh, your commentary. Absolutely, follow the same format with that of the videos, but please don't uh, don't copy and don't list your uh, your uh, the entire lyrics uh, for, for, for verbatim. If you do that, I will definitely say something about that when I reply to uh, to, to your comments. Uh, at, but the second thing is. Uh, as, as I suggested earlier, uh, I only want two people per video to, to, to choose a song. When I first started doing this a few years ago, I didn't really have any limits or parameters about this, so there are many times in which uh, uh, in which about six, seven, seven people chose one song. The song that's really popular, and I know that'll, that'll be the case here, is Michael Jackson's Man in, in, in the Mirror. Uh, one semester, I think it was seven or eight people that actually wanted Man in the Mirror, so it got a little bit confusing and, and chaotic with so many people commenting on uh, commenting on, on one song. So it's only two people that I want uh, to work to, uh, to work on the song. So for instance, let's let's go back to uh, Doctor Feelgood for a second. Let's say uh, uh, let's say Thomas. Uh, let's say Thomas. Uh, you you talk to me first. And again, I'm using for an example. So if you don't do Doctor Feelgood, I, I definitely I definitely un understand it. Just choose any of the uh, songs that you that you like from the from the list. But again, uh, let's say Thomas decides that uh, he wants to work on Doctor Feelgood. So so he sends me a quick note message from Professor Professor. I want to do Doctor Feelgood. I really like a heavy metal. Blah blah blah. So I want to comment on Doctor Feelgood. Uh, so I tell okay Thomas absolutely you'll get the first slot and then maybe a day later maybe a uh, Kara uh, Kara comes in and says professor I like heavy metal too I want to do Dr. Feelgood as so I say so then I write back and say okay Kara uh, you get it you got the second slot so you and Thomas you will be the ones that are working on on Dr. Feelgood the song is closed to anybody else in the class and then maybe a day later maybe Sarah might write write to me and say uh, professor I want to do Dr. Feelgood as well but unfortunately because Thomas and Kara already spoke to me about Dr. Feelgood. The song is closed. So I have to tell Sarah, Sarah, I'm sorry, but Dr. Feelgood is closed. You're going to have to choose another song from the, uh, another song from, from the list. But don't worry too much about that because if that's the case, that doesn't mean you can't talk about Dr. Feelgood at, at all. All Sarah has to do is just simply post her replies to uh, what uh, Thomas and Kara were saying about Dr. Field, but in the meantime, Sarah has to choose a, a song separately in that the two, the two slots to talk about the song with original comments, those have been chosen by Thomas and, 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 and Kara. Uh, but so Sarah, in essence, she's got, to choose, she's got to choose a song. So basically what I'm saying here is that it's first come, first serve with, with, with a song. So please uh, start letting me know as soon as possible what songs you want to do right there in the... Uh, in the form section, uh, right in the right in right where I have the description about the form itself, I will have a list of everybody in the class and what songs uh, and what songs they're they're choosing. Or actually, what I'll do is I'll have a list of the song and then in parentheses I'll indicate who chose the song. And when a song is is, is closed, that means two people have chosen it. It's going to be highlighted. So any song you see on that list. In the discussion board that's highlighted, that means the song is closed. It's been chosen by by two people. Uh, but if you but if you see a song that hasn't been highlighted, it means it's only been chosen by one person. That means there's one there's one there's one slot left. 
Uh, so I know I explained that in the uh, in, in the written uh, written directions, but hopefully this video will help uh, will help clarify that. Um, let's see what else I need to mention here, because because uh, uh, I got to start getting on the road uh, pr pretty soon here. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, start letting me know as soon as possible what songs you want to do, and uh, and then as well I'll make up the list, and and so by the end of the week, beginning of next week, we'll see who's going to be working on uh, working on which song. And in your commentary, uh, just follow the directions I have listed on the assignment worksheet. Again, just give me a sense of what the song is all about, what you think about it, what how the what the song says about the times. Uh, the main issues, the, the main themes. So not only are you going to tell me a little bit about the uh, song itself and maybe about the storyline, the plot, and the video, but definitely give me a sense of what's happening in the 1980s, the, the culture of it, and the, uh, and the history and the politics. And with respect to politics, of course, if you're into the Cold War stuff, uh, obviously Sting's Russians is a great one, great one to use, so I highly recommend you use that for politics. Now I'm going to add a new song to the list. I'm going to add the Canadian singer Bruce Coburn, uh, who is a folk uh, rock, a rock a singer, been very popular in Canada for many years, didn't have much popularity in the U.S., but he had a song in 1984, which really was sort of a searing indictment about uh, U.S. foreign policy, especially in Central America. It's called If I Had a Rocket Launcher, so I'm going to add that to the list of today. So if you want to get into some really hard-hitting stuff in your song and video, then I highly recommend Bruce Coburn's song, which I'll be adding to the uh, to the list uh, uh, some sometime in the next uh, day or so. So that's it for me. That's it for my little for my little off office. I'm gonna go ahead and get on the road now. So uh, I'm sure I have at least a couple more videos for you before the uh, semester winds up. But again, I hope this video and the other videos I had about some of the other topics were helpful in getting you going for these uh, big three topics. So uh, that's it from from here. Uh, I'm going to get get on the road right now. Uh, try and stay cool, and I'll talk to you guys again in the next uh, few days.